Hi guys, welcome to this brand new FIFA 21 career mode of Manchester United. Manchester United are in shambles and Ole Gunnar has just been sacked. But there is a good news as Ralph Ragnick has been appointed as the new manager of Manchester United. So the series is basically regarding that where we have appointed Ralph Ragnick as the new coach of Manchester United and let's see where he can take this Manchester United team. We'll follow his tactics and style of play in this career mode and see how far we can take this team. We will be rocking a 4-2-2-2 formation and our defensive style will be press after possession loss and we can check all the tactics that I've already given to this team and uh, I've also given the instructions. As you can check, uh, all the instructions are given as per the tactics of Ralph Ragnick. And I think I'll go with this squad, this will be perfect. And uh, I'm loaning out all the youngsters which are in our team so that they gain some overall in a couple of seasons. Also please tell me in the comment section that which players I should sign uh, in the upcoming transfer window. Also let's check the board objective that we have. Okay, then oh basically we need to win everything. Also let's give some development plan to our important players like for Cristiano I'll be going with mobile striker I think that would be the best. For Greenwood I would go for let's see I think striker would be the best because I want him to play alongside Ronaldo. For Van de Beek let's see I should give him a plan I think I'll go with ball winning midfielder because I need him in the CDM position to take the ball and go forward for Ashford I think I'll go with a striker because I need Rashford in the striker position alongside Ronaldo or when he's not playing Gear is just 85 rated. I don't think that's fair on him because the gear needs an update of at least a 2 overall. So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll give him a 2 overall boost on his overall stats, which is fair enough because he has been excellent in the last couple of months and so he deserves a 2 overall and we'll give him a potential of 91. I think that would be fair enough. Okay, done. Now we have a first match with Leeds United. Let's see what we can do over here. Uh, I'd like to make a change. I'll go with Pogba for the first game. Yeah, he dropped in his overall but uh, I think uh, I should go with him for the first match well this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to a lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension packed occasion stay with us we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV live well, it's a beautiful day for football. No complaints whatsoever on that front here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robert Callender than opening day in the Premier League.
It is Manchester United up against Leeds United. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. We'll go with David De Gea between the posts. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Donny van de Beek starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And the front pair, Cristiano Ronaldo, starts together with Marcus Rashford. And the match gets underway here at Old Trafford. Let's hope we're in for something special. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Now will the cross work out for them? Now that was never likely to trouble the keep out on the flank. Pogba. Tidy in possession and attempting the through ball. Well, it was a close call, but now hold on, Stuart. They're in here and somehow kept out by De Gea. Well, a significant reorganization within the football club and a new manager in place. What sort of impact are you? Rashford, nothing comes of it. Ronaldo, oh incredible save and he snuffed out the danger <laughs> trying to deliver it accurately well the timing was good but the attempt too high and his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner he could be the key to unlocking this defence. Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo! And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Spirit of the attacker. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Not away completely. No way through. Getting in there to intercept. On to Ronaldo. Can he finish this? And the ball is loose. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. Counter-attacking very much an option. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And the counter-attack came to nothing. Well, no problems defensively. Van der Beek. On to Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo at the ready. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Rashford, Sancho, just fractionally wide, so unfortunate. From Cristiano Ronaldo, no doubt about that, Stuart. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. Well, quite simply, the... Oh, the referee points to the spot, penalty. And the upshot of it all is a sending off too. Well, it was certainly a penalty all day long. A sending off, I'm not quite so sure. They've decided that now... ...is the time to go to the bench. An opportunity to level matters. And the keeper denies them from the spot. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Rodrigo. 
a gift for any goalkeeper. This is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Manchester oh, United. Here, Derek. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's absolutely brilliant. Corner kick played in. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And saved by the keeper. Oh, lovely ball. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. This looks threatening. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Something to worry about here. Oh, he's lost possession. And somehow kept out by De Gea. How can he find someone at the far post? It comes to absolutely nothing. Rodrigo. And he's done it. Parate again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. So back underway following the equaliser. Rodrigo has it. Well, nicely cut out. Well, the United fans can sense a winner coming here, but can they create one more big chance? Oh, lovely incisive pass. And there is the goal to give them the lead with ten men. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Given away by Manchester United. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Oh, what a fantastic save. Well, that's a match-winning save there. Not long... And there it is, the final whistle. It's a Manchester United victory. Yes, Derek, that's exactly the start you want. Yes, one or two players looked a little bit tired towards the end of the game, but that's to be expected. So, our first game is over, and uh, I think our performance was fair enough because uh, I'm trying to get used to this new formation, which I used, and uh, Maguire has been sent off. We won't be able to use him for the next game. Fair enough. Uh, we'll go with Bai and uh, I think uh, for the front 11 we'll go with Lindelof, not to worry. Uh, yeah, we'll go our captain as David De Gea. Uh, I think he would be a better captain for the form that he has shown. It has been tremendous. So I want to go with him and uh, next game is with Southampton. I think we can do that uh, very easily. Our camera lens trained on one man. Will he shine against his former club? We're live next, so don't go anywhere. Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St. Mary Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Southampton versus Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. The bet for Manchester United. David De Gea stands between the posts. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Raphael Varane in central defence. Oh, Derek, great opportunity here. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end. But I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. So, there. Well, there's been a boatload of speculation surrounding him ahead of the game. Taking on his old club, and that can bring with it a few complications. Well, for some... Oh, big chance here! A goal from Cavani! Try to stop him if you can. Good luck! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and the finish is clinical. He just... More than decent this from United. 
And that pass could be troublesome. A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, as but there's no stopping that. What a great finish. So on with the game again. United in charge. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. It needs an accurate cross. Takes the shot. And able to close down the shot. And over it comes. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. They couldn't maintain possession. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see, and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. It's with McTominay. On to Juan Bissaka. Nice looking pass. Can he convert? Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Here on EA TV, it's Manchester United facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there, but I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. And a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. It's in the end, and that'll be a throw-in. Walker Peters. And you don't want to lose possession there. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. Well, we're inside the final 15 minutes. He's going forward well here. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. No yellow card. Instead, a firm warning from the official. And fired from the flank into the area. Oh, good save. Excellent header. And the referee has given them a corner. Playing it in. And problem solved for now. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Credit to them for winning back possession. And with the goalkeeper. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Che Adams. A chance maybe from the wide position. Ward-Prowse. And teammates to play it to. Walcott. Sensational goalkeeping from David De Gea. Here's a change for Manchester United. Minutes of stoppage time. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. A decisive clearance it was. And there it is, the full-time whistle. A victory for Manchester United. Well, Derek... And hello to you from Molyneux here in the English West Midlands. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case.
It's Wolverhampton Wanderers taking on Manchester United. Good looking cross. And that's a very good parry. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. It will go with. David De Gea stands between the posts. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rafael Varane. A high degree of difficulty with that. Is a man who knows how to finish with the very best of them. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him in this match? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. And there it is, the opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, possibilities inside the box. He got Raul Jimenez. Good effort here. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And maybe Rashford. And a goal here for Manchester United. They are the big favourites now. Adama. An important interception. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. It's there for him. Rashford! Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Options in the centre. It's still alive. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. And attempting the through ball. Rashford with possibilities. Ronaldo! Magnificent finishing from one of the world's best. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then... Scott McTominay. Rashford. Advantage Manchester United. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And a goal almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Well, I certainly won't get tired of watching this because this is a brilliant piece of skill. He imparts so much spin on the ball as well as getting it up and over the wall. It's a cross. Cutting the ball back. Cleared away comprehensively. Bruno Fernandes, and now passing it through, a goal! We're really being spoiled, this is attacking football at its finest! And into the last 30 minutes now. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? He has time to play it over. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. <laughs> Ruben Neves. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. And he's through here. Now, was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? And in the refereeing trade, they call it Dogzo. Denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. Well, the referee's got that right. He saved a possible goal there, but at a cost. <laughs> a 
has eyes for goal well no surprise to see him go for goal but... and over it comes found wanting a bit with that delivery can he do it and there it is a goal but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings they haven't been at the best and there it is, the final whistle, a result to please Manchester United fans around the world. What did you think of it? Wow, that was an amazing victory and we had two consecutive very convincing victories and I'm really happy with that. Uh, I'm getting used to this new formation and the tactics which we are using and it's amazing. It's, I'm feeling really happy with that and we are improving game by game. We had two victories, really good victories and uh, as we can see the standings, we are top of the table with Spurs. I don't know how Spurs are there, maybe uh, it's just three games, not an issue. We are top of the table with nine points and let's see who's the top scorer. It has to be Cristiano Ronaldo with four goals and the top assist is Rashford. That's good. Uh, clean sheets, <laughs> David won't be here because we can see them in all the three games okay guys so these are the games that we'll play in our next match there are a lot of games and i would like you people to please subscribe to this channel this is a new channel which i have opened uh, it would be really helpful for me as i want to provide you people with quality content please subscribe to the channel and please hit a like button thank you